Man, why do we have to fight these guys every frickin' time we come back here? It's like, okay, it was fun the first time. It was kind of fun the second time. The third time was like, this is getting a little bit tedious. The tenth time, come on, man. What the hell? Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. Little guy gaming, and uh, they just came out with the new uh, expedition uh, singularity. I think it's called. So this game, I, I can't keep up with it, man. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still trying to finish the original game to get to the center of the galaxy. They just keep coming up with new, out with new updates, which is not a bad thing. I'm not complaining about that at all. It's, it's a, it's a great thing that they're doing that. Um, but it just makes it a little difficult for me to feel like I'm sticking with things but that's okay we're doing this on our own time i said from the very beginning we are not going to rush in this playthrough we're going to take our time stop and smell the roses and we will continue doing that um okay so let's see i that all being said however i really am itching to get to the center of the galaxy in euclid here <clears throat> um in our single or sorry sorry in our multiplayer last weekend when I was playing uh, with Queenie we kind of inadvertently realized that we were in <clears throat> we were in the Calypso galaxy we don't even we're not even, we weren't even sure exactly how we got there um, I think it's I think it's a black hole that we went through and we just didn't realize it was in another galaxy which is interesting um, but um, I want to get out of this galaxy and into Calypso and or other galaxies by going getting to the center of this galaxy because that's that's been really what you might say our ultimate goal or at least our ultimate first goal uh, for this playthrough you know right from the start okay so a couple things i'm going to shorten up the the frigate uh sequences that we've been doing i just i feel like you know it's it's a bit much I, one of you, one or two of you guys told me a long time ago you, you liked reading the logs. If you really, really still want to see the logs, let me know in the comments. But I kind of feel like most of you probably don't anymore. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you, I'm going to go through, you know, the whole frigate thingy here. And I'll just show you the end results of that. Um, so let's take a look for those of you who are interested. Um, oh, I guess I have a few things in my inventory I should probably drop off first so that way we know what's new so let's put our upgrade stuff in here uh, that's all upgrade stuff that stays with us and we got a few crafting items I should probably make a crafting two bench just we got this thing is so full uh, that's actually just something we sell I think I got that off of a no, I don't remember where I got that, to be honest with you. Um, okay, so let's put... Uh, this goes in here, too. And the star chart thingamadoodle, navigation data thingy, goes in here. And we have some fungal mold left over. We had to use that to make some acid for our minotaur upgrade thing. And then a couple of just basic resources can go in here. Okay, um, I think we're keeping this stuff in here as well. So, yeah, um, what, so where we're sitting right now is we're at 549.6 million in credits. And let's sell this. Let's sell this, uh, this guy right here, superconducting fiber. And um, when I'm finished going through all this, I'll bring you guys back and I'll show you what the end results were. Okay, so we went through the whole frigate sequence thing. We are now 555.6 uh, million in terms of our credits. And this is the, or these are rather the, the things here on the freighter uh, that we got. So. Let's see, we'll move, 
let, let's grab the cell stuff first. So we got some neural ducts and Isn't this um, one of the things that takes us to the derelicts? Oh no, this is another interceptor. Okay, select the AI fragment and use search archive to translate information about interceptor's crash site to your starship's navigation systems. Hmm, so you can you can get interceptor locations now through frequent missions. That's interesting. I didn't know that. We might have to check that out actually. Um, and then we also got this prismatic fermenting harpoon. Um, I guess we can move that over there. And then the rest of the stuff is just you know, you're the usual. So let's let's sell buy sell. Let's sell this stuff here. The neural ducts and the prismatic. This is, hold on a second. This is just a trade thing, right? I think so. These, a lot of this stuff, yeah, used for trading. A lot of this stuff uses the same icons, so. Um, just wanted to double check that. Okay, so that brings us up to 556.2 now on the, on the cash on hand. Okay, I'm going to drop off um, these this extra stuff, and then we will proceed with it today's episode. I forgot to sell these albumin pearls. Uh, no, hold on. Exosuit inventory, albumin pearls, sell. There we go. Well, they get a lot of money for those. They're good for very early game money. Um, okay, so let's see here. Um, I want to I actually want to see what this does. Probe archive for lost interceptors. Ship signature recorded. Warp path traced. So. Oh, look at that. Okay. Um, let's check that out. Because interceptor. <laughs> uh, whoa. Who knows? It might be might be better than the one we have. We've kitted out the one we have quite a bit, but we can always move the modules over to a new one. But yeah, I, di I didn't realize your frigate expeditions could bring back um, Sentinel crash sites. That's really pretty cool. You can stop floating now. There you go. All right, we are in the Iconiki NX2 system or something like that. What we're going to do here is we're going to do that. And then we're going to get in our starship. Oh, we got another glyph, too. Look at that. One more glyph to go. Then we have all 16. Yeah, yes. Also something I recently discovered that we can get through other means besides talking to travelers. Now let's do the space station thing first. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I want to scan this system. I remember to do that. Okay, let's do a probe here. This is a humid planet, and it's distance detected. That's where the ship is. Noxious planet and a flourishing planet. Dolped Delta. We might uh, pop down and just take a quick look, see at that, and see if it tickles our fancy at all. Uh, but let's do the Sentinel thing first. I'm hoping I can kind of get through this quickly because I really would like... Uh, to make a little bit of progress towards the center of the galaxy in this episode if we can manage to make that happen I really I, I need to go go down and check my settlement too, but you know what that can wait We don't have to do that every single freaking episode Okay, let's go I didn't even know I was being subspace scanned 
So we'll stop off over here at the uh, station first. What's in my mind, and I think I've shared this with you guys, is I don't really want to start a massive planet side base until we get out of this galaxy. Now that's not to say we wouldn't come back to Euclid and, and do a build if we found a planet we really, really fell in love with. But I want to give that a little more time before we commit to a you know, our main build of the series, we'll say. Okay, so we are... We're, we're doing pretty good on tech slots. Let's, let's start to fill out our inventory a little bit more here. Alright, and... Do I need any more starship modules? We got... Three shields. Um, looks like we could actually. Oh no! Yeah, we got to go down further. We've got three pulse engines. We got three phase beams. Uh, we could actually upgrade. No, I think this is the one from the. Oh, we do have three phase beams. B. Photon mirror. We could stand to upgrade one of those, I think, to an S-Class. We've got three S-Class for the Infra Knife. Um, and we've got, looks like we have everything we need for the Hyperdrive, too. So, the, yeah, it looks like we might be able to replace... I'm pretty sure that's the Nexus one. I wish there was an easier way to tell this. You tell that. Uh, but this one could probably be upgraded with either an X or an S. That's a positron. Okay. Uh, let's check the multi-tool here. C-class. All right, let's go check out this uh, Crash Sentinel and see, see if we like it. Apostle of the Wind. It's kind of an interesting name. That's the chant. Uh, well, you know what? Let's go there first and just take a quick look at it. Looks like there's lots of ocean and red terrain again, just like our current home planet. The water's nice and clear and blue. Reminds me of the Caribbean. Artifact site place. Yeah, but this is this is too similar to where we're already at. A little more forested area over here. It's not exactly the same, but it's close enough to where I don't think I'm interested. Okay, well we checked it out. looking planet. It's got like turquoise uh, colored terrain and purple terrain off in the distance. Um, this is 
a human planet. It has no hazard. Hmm. It's an interesting looking sentinel. Oh, we got a bad guy. Any more bad guys? Um, all right, so let's um let's just see what we got here. Flameborn. <clears throat> Complete salvage object is to purge sentinel presence. It's a, a C class. I'm not entirely sure that I like the way it looks, but you know, we really should salvage it anyways, because we'll make a lot of money off it if nothing else. It's very weird looking. Kind of boxy. Um, okay, so let's do this. Let's grab the uh Okay, I'm trying to remember how do we do this now? Do we have to probe? Yeah. I mean that should take us to a another place to go. Ship's brain rejects control of that outside entity. Our harmonic brain is required to complete the pilot override process. Locate the brain in the inventory and probe it subconscious with E. Got a crash freighter here, too. You know what? Actually, let's do this. Um, since we get a free landing here. All our our dude here, right? Huzzah! Okay, let's go. Where's the ancient site? It is. Oh, here it is. Okay. I guess I was just too damn close to it, maybe, or something. The ancient site stirs as I approach the stone scraping against stone. Warmth radiates from the high lane brain with my pack. Mind the ship child's interlock with the hive. Current instructions seek and eliminate anomalies. In mesh archival sen sentience with surrogate entity. Sure. Fumble with the ship's brain. I almost drop it, but I don't. And then all of a sudden it lights up, and now I have a harmonic brain. And it's a docile harmonic brain. How about that? Okay. Whilst we're here, we might as well learn a couple more words. Corvax journey for journey. Or word for journey, right? And then there should be another one over here. Corvax word for on. This is a bizarre looking ship, man. It's sort of kind of cool. Atlas sequence, 8 out of 16. Space and authority. Okay. Oh, these are banned goods? Um, 
Surrender all confidence in her first. Uh, fuck off. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Um, okay. We need to get to the station. You know what? We probably better. Do this. Since my little squad in here that flies with me doesn't do a damn thing to actually help fight. They're just there for looks. They do look cool. Don't get me wrong. But uh, they're pretty useless. I have not found them to be practically useful in a fight and sometimes they get in my way too and I end up shooting at them does this ship have anything on it we might want to salvage that's just the actual phase being itself. Can I take this? Aeron protocol rejects alien technology. What's the what's the Aeron protocol? I don't know. Nevertheless, it doesn't let me put that in there. Forty-two point five million. That doesn't suck. Okay. Okay, cell. Neural ducts. Uh, liquid explosive we're going to hang on to. Compressed indium scraps. Um, let's sell these relic thingies. Starship AI valves. 36 million just for these. Wow. And the nano cables. Okay, cool. Made some bank off that deal. So we are currently way off to the east by northeast section. We we have some systems that are almost due north of the center that are a lot closer. Um, so let's take a look at see if we can teleport back to those systems um you know maybe we should just run down really quick and do our settlement because i got the message for it let's just do this really quick man why do we have to fight these guys every freaking time we come back here it's like okay it was fun the first time it was kind of fun the second time the third time was like, this is getting a little bit tedious. The tenth time, come on, man. What the hell? Okay, enough already. Enough already. Okay. Debrief Sentinel Expedition. Thank uh, Sentinel Expedition. Debrief. Deepening curiosity complete. Thank the explorers. We get a hard frame left arm. Or question the explorers. Hard frame left arm. So the reward's the same either way. But the atmosphere is subdued. Why is... Th I don't understand why the atmosphere is subdued. But let's not piss him off. Oh, nice. This removes the spy and adds creeping, spreading glass. Oh, wait a minute. No, sorry. We need to make that decision. Citizens murmur their appreciation, but there are mutterings, swirling rumors about the water. Citizens are reluctant to speak further. They do not seem quite themselves. 
Quarantine the explorers. And removes highly radioactive. Release the explorers and adds creeping spreading glass. Is creeping spreading glass a good thing? That seems to kind of imply that. But why is that a good thing? Because maybe that's what's infected their brain. You know what? We're going to quarantine these bastards. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, new settlement feature quarantined explorers. Is that a good thing, though? Let's see. Apparently it is. Cognito Hazard Containment Facility. I guess that's a good thing because it keeps them from infecting everybody else. And it also removed the negative effect of being highly radioactive in our settlement. Hmm. Okay. That's <laughs> 10 million in debt. It's a good thing I've got hundreds of millions of dineros, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, um... So, Exocraft. Hard frame. Oh, he's out of range. Okay. There we go. Okay, so this damage to stun entities post impact ignition enabled. Post impact ignition. I don't know what that does. Mining laser power and impact fire duration, four seconds. Okay, that seem, seems like a reasonable improvement. It looks too like if we put it next to this stuff, we get a bonus. So what happens if we this does not give us a bonus no matter where we put it. I think we tried to do that before and we couldn't get it to bonus. So apparently that just doesn't apply to that. Uh, and this has a class. This is an A class, whereas this has no class at all. It's It has no class. <laughs> it's, it's not very classy. Okay. Well, hey, that looks like a pretty nice improvement, actually. I'm not sure what post-impact ignition means, though. Look at you, man. You're getting better. Maybe by the time we get you fully decked out, you actually will be worth a shit in combat. I don't know. We'll see. You're very cool looking, though. Okay. So I think we're done here at our settlement. Let's hop back up to our freighter. Uh, wrong building. Oh, do we need to... Did we finish our construction of that last building? I think we did. There's something over here we built. Because if we still needed to do more, I think it would have told us that. Yeah, this is what we're currently building. Let's look at it. Maybe we do need to do something more with this. Two heat capacitors. This is a multi-barn. Okay, let's go to the freighter and go to the crafting thingy. Heat capacitor. There we go. Um, so let's grab two of these. Oh. in the exosuit. We have a hyperdrive module to install and melt. There we go. Okay. Let's go back to our little office here and teleport back up. So I should have a base that says something about closest to center yeah right here closest to center one okay 
Let's call in our Praetor. Okay, so if you look at the little galaxy map in the upper left-hand corner, you can see that we're just a little off to the east from north of the center, but pretty darn close to the center. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's do a... We could do this one of two ways. We could just simply start heading towards the center, or we could try our chances at a black hole uh, to see if that gets us even closer. Um, you know what? I think let, let's do this. Let's go... Because that black hole could potentially be the one that we came here on. So yeah, let's just start moving towards the center. Let's do it. Probably would be more economical for me to do this in my starship instead of in my freighter. Quing bow. Oh, somebody else has already discovered this system. Um, okay, let's jump down and uh, take a quick oh, I almost did it again. Let's do a quick scan. Data injection sequence. Receive source unknown. Install the paralysis mortar to prepare for walker combat. Uh, okay, we'll worry about that later. We're now in exploration mode, not combat mode. What am I doing? I'm coming over here to do this. We got an acrid planet, scorch planet, imminent core detonation planet, a grassy planet with aggressive sentinels, an abandoned planet, and an isotopic planet. Okay. Nothing there looks particularly appealing. Let's go to the space station and do our suit upgrade and our multi-tool check. And a message coming in. It's from Noel. You are not Gazette alone. Yeah, you've told me that a few times now, dude. You can't go to the center. You can't Gazette do this to us. You can't leave us. Uh, say you are real. Um, I don't actually know if I'm real, but I'm going. No, you can't do this to us. You can't. What, what am I doing to you? I don't understand. The center of each galaxy, it's the Atlas. It's because it all else just interfaces because it all else a shadow of its might. You, because it... You don't deserve it. You, you, because you'll wipe us all to save. Ask how they know. Ask why. Yeah, why? The Atlas Gazette Gazette, the innermost part of itself, it has showed Gazette its dreams, its fears. I did what I had to do. I told you that. I couldn't die without seeing everything there was to see. Gazette, too. I did what I had to, but the Atlas, it won't let me back in. It won't speak to me. It, it, it. Ask what Noel did. I've committed such atrocities, Traveler. I had to. It was me or them. It's always been me or them. Please, if you go through the center, if you do what I did, it will reset everything. It will replace me. Wipe me. All those souls, they have died for nothing. It was the only way to live on. You have to understand me. Life or more life. They sustain me. They can't. It can't have all been for nothing. I was going to see it all. Um... So... So, okay, let me get this straight. You caused some sort of mass genocide just so you could keep exploring and try and see it all? I don't think that's cool, so I'm going to continue. <laughs> I tell Noel that they are despicable as Noel cries. As they try to justify their crimes, I end the communication. There is nothing left but the path towards the center. Yeah, fuck off, dude. I don't like you anymore. Whew, okay, we took care of that. <laughs> Jeez. Seriously? Okay, let's grab.
have the star chart thingy. Oh, he doesn't have one. Oh, we're still looking for an S-Class phase beam module. Launch thrusters. Nope, don't need that. Ooh, this is a... I like the colors on this tool. But it's a C-Class. Okay. Um... So we'll do the next jump in our starship, and then we can just call the freighter to us. But we are out of time in this episode, ladies and gentlemen, so the plan for the next episode is to continue doing exactly this. Um, we're just going to keep moving towards the center. I just really, really want to get uh, to the center of this galaxy um, and go from there. So. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.